Well, imagine paying a bill not just for one, two, or three, but more than 20 years, then finding out you never use the service. That's exactly what one Greene County renter is dealing with when it comes to his sewer bill. Uh, he reached out to On Your Side and says, it's not just about getting his money back, it's about making sure this doesn't happen to you. Ashley Reynolds explains. Finding the root of the problem took some digging. Well, I plunged it as hard as I could and made the fatal mistake of flushing it again, hoping it would take care of it, and it didn't. It just spilled more and more water. Turns out, to his surprise... It's quite a mess. Tenant yep. Tim Trafford was not dealing with a collapsed sewer line. It was the uh, septic tank that was in the yard was full in causing the backup. Hold on, he thought. It immediately occurred to me that, wait a minute, I'm paying sewer charges on my city utilities bill. Why would that be if we have a septic system? Trafford says he has lived in this home south of town for more than 20 years, and he's always paid for sewer service. The city does not deny that. So on your site asked, how did this happen? So we don't go and independently verify um, that the sewer is connected in each case. So we bill sewer based on water use. And so there's no meter on the sewer or no reading or anything like that. You know, we can't know who's doing what, but you certainly know who you can bill, you know, and then that's disturbing to me that you don't want to get it right. You just want to collect the revenue. Trafford says he added up his sewer service bills from just the last five years and estimates he has paid $2,347.76. The city won't refund dollar for dollar because Trafford could okay, connect, really which is tied to a base or service charge. Trafford is getting what's called a volume credit of $800. It's basically a refund based on water use from the last five years. A recommendation, the city says, is from the Missouri Public Service Commission. We felt like we had to pick a reasonable line somewhere there and not just issue refunds back um, forever. We're not trying to be unkind about it. Um, that's just our policy, and it's based off what we feel is a reasonable approach to consistently treat all of our customers. It's come to where it's not even about the money now. I feel like uh, myself and other people are being deceived. We sure aren't intending to deceive any of our customers. Um, I feel for them. I know that that's got to be frustrating um, to realize that you're not connected to the sewer. Uh, I'm grateful that we had sewer available so that he had an alternative solution. It would be nice to have the money instead of it being credited, but I would accept that. But what's really concerning is how many people may be caught up in this scenario that, like me, didn't even know it was a septic because there's no clean out line. Which brings us to the question, how do you know? So before you move into a new place, get what's called a sewer lateral inspection. A plumber can do this, and we're talking about the pipes that connect every home and business to the public sewer system. An inspection will tell you about your pipe's condition, defects, if any, clogs, and if you're connected to the city. I have more information on this, like a price estimate, on our news app. Steve? Well, you want to